Maha Blanca is a delicious coconut pudding with corn studded all over it. It's basically Hawaiian hapia, but with corn. Okay, well, it's technically called Maha Ma'is when there's corn added in it, but everyone calls it Maha Blanca anyway, so... There's all these other ingredient variations you can put in to make Maha Blanca, but today let's make the simplest and the healthiest version with ingredients that you probably already have in your pantry. Okay, first turn on your flame to low heat. And then we're gonna use a large enough pan to make sure all of our ingredients fit inside comfortably. Dump in one can of full fat coconut milk, which should be about 13.5 ounces. Next, add five tablespoons of sugar. I used coconut sugar here. And then a pinch of salt to enhance the sweetness. Stir this all around until the sugar has fully dissolved. Blanca in this dessert means white. Adding coconut sugar turns it into light beige. I guess it should be called maha beige. This part is 100% optional. Grab two pandan leaves, which you could get at the frozen section of Asian supermarkets, and tie it up so it's not all over the place. We're gonna drop it into the mixture and then allow that to simmer on low heat for a few minutes to get some of that pandan flavor to come out. Okay, now set that aside and then we're gonna take a separate bowl and dump in another can of coconut milk. Add five tablespoons of cornstarch. Make sure the coconut milk is not hot because cornstarch clumps up in hot liquid and will not mix at all. Okay, get your simmering pot back into the picture and then I would take out the pandan leaves now before pouring in the cornstarch if I were you. You'll see why. Okay, now once you add your cornstarch mixture, immediately whisk, 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 whisk. It'll start to thicken up pretty quickly in hot liquid and you do not want big solid clusters. I was thinking I could extract a little more pandan flavor in this mix, but it's really not worth it. Soon enough, some of the mixture started to cling onto the pandan leaves and made a whole mess when I tried to take it out. Ugh. The mixture should have a little bit of resistance at this point. We're gonna add one last thing. A whole can of corn. That's right, all 15.25 ounces of sweet corn kernels. Would you like some Maja Blanca with that corn? At this point, we're just gonna keep whisking this mixture over low medium heat for about 10 more minutes. Although the mixture is already feeling thick, I cook it for a little bit more to make sure that the cornstarch is fully cooked. Alrighty, you'd want this to look thick and gloopy just like this, and then you're ready to set it aside, put it in a container, and chill it in the fridge or the freezer. This all fits in one larger pan, but I'm splitting it in two so that they can firm up faster. And maybe I just wanted to use this pretty brown bowl and not all of it fits in there. Smooth out the top using your spatula or a spoon, and then stick this in the fridge or freezer. Now, let's grab our other container. If you want this to firm up quickly, get a wider pan so the Maja Blanca can spread out. The thinner the spread, the faster the whole mixture can stiffen up. This would generally take over an hour to firm up in the fridge. If you want it faster, I've found that sticking it in the freezer and setting a timer for 40 minutes is the perfect amount of time to speed up the process. Okay, 40 minutes is up. Poke your Maja Blanca a little bit to make sure that it is indeed firm and ready to slice. If it's not ready, you're gonna know. You're gonna get pudding all over your knife. The texture of this Maja Blanca recipe is like a creamy jello. I've had Maja Blanca that's firmer and Maja Blanca that's just spreading out all over the place. Personally, I think this texture is perfect. Wow! If you wanna get real Filipino, get some letik to sprinkle on top of the Maja Blanca. Latik is toasted coconut cream solids, and you'll get it after simmering coconut cream for like 40 minutes to an hour. It takes forever, but it's delicious, and the white coconut cream will disappear, leaving you with the coconut oil and these chewy, toasted brown bits. Latik is usually used as garnish on top of sweet Filipino rice desserts. Man, these are dangerously yummy. Keep them far away from me. It's amazingly creamy, and you'll be surprised what a tasty combination coconut and corn make. I can smell the hint of pandan flavor in here too. 
I'm a huge coconut fiend and it takes a lot for me to restrain myself from eating too many of these in one sitting. But the best part about this recipe is that it's so simple and easy to make that I'll probably expect you to make your own Maja Blanca at home after watching this video, right? Okay, well, thank you guys so much for your time. Do not forget to subscribe for more recipes and I'll see you next time. Bye!